Um, welcome to my home. <laughs> um, I am going to attempt to do my first science lesson via video. Um, so bear with me as it might be a little imperfect. Um, I'm so excited to do this with you. Today we are doing a walking water rainbow experiment. I don't know about you, but I love rainbows. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is paper towel. Most of us have this at home. If you are doing a better job at going zero waste than I am, maybe you don't. Um, you could also use napkins. You might be able to use towels. I don't know if you want to, um, but I would recommend paper towels. Um, the next thing you need is about six small glass jars. Now, I didn't have six this size, but something about this big is probably better than what um, I had available to, for me to use. Um, I only had three of these, so I did a bigger jar like this one. But that's the great thing about doing science at home is um, use what works, use what you have. Then you will need food colors. Um, liquid food colors is the best option, so you have red, yellow, and blue. Then the last thing you will need, just water. You can use your sink water, you can use really any kind of water that you have. It does not need to be purified or anything like that. Um, I would recommend putting it in a smaller jug um, because I would love the students to be able to pour the water themselves. Um, it would actually really help developing some motor skills for them to learn how to pour without spilling. Um, so yes, here we go. I pre-set up my jars um, just to save a little bit of time in this video. So as you can see, I filled it up most of the way and added a bunch of food coloring. And you do three jars, one is red, one is blue, one is yellow. Your other three jars will remain empty. There's a little bit of water in that one, but empty jars is how you should do it. Um, your next step will actually be to place the jars in a circle. You can't see that very well, so let me go ahead and bring you over and show you how that looks. So all my jars are in a circle. So the question I want you to ask is what do you think will happen if we use the paper towel to connect from the jars filled with colored water to the empty jars? pause right there because I want you to discover what happens yourself. So first questions first. Um, when we ask a question in science, we usually say, I hypothesize or I predict and you make a guess out of that question. So our question is what will happen to the empty jars between the colored jars? So the jars in the middle like this, between blue and red, or between yellow and blue, etc. Say, so I hypothesize, an example would be, I hypothesize the colors will all stay separate, just like the Skittle experiment. Or you could say, I hypothesize nothing will happen. No changes will be made and the water will stay in each jar. So there's a bunch of different guesses you could make or hypothesize with this experiment. The next thing I want you to do after you write down your hypothesis is to record your data. So sit, watch what happens. 
Um, do the empty jars fill up? Do they stay empty? Do the colors mix? Do they stay separate? Notice all the little things and I want you to draw what happens. So draw six jars, color one red, one yellow, and one blue. And then I want you to fill in the in-between jars with um, what you are observing is happening. And then to conclude, when you are all done, I want you to write down with your parent, mom, dad, grandparents, babysitter, um, whoever you're doing this project, project with, what did you learn and what did you observe? So um, I'm not gonna show you what's happening with my jars because I wanna see what happens with yours and I don't wanna give away the end. Um, I hope you are having a wonderful time learning at home with the Howard School 